Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today in this video, I'm going to show how to customize your Mac. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin to personalize your Mac OS experience from subtle tweaks to dramatic visual changes. Customize your Mac for productivity and enjoyment with built-in features and third-party apps. Starting with the wallpapers, swapping the default wallpaper with a background you like can make your Mac feel new again. Right-click on Desktop and select Change Wallpaper. On the right side, you can choose between a light or dark theme. You can also use dynamic wallpaper or static images under pictures or choose a nice solid background under colors. Dynamic wallpapers change automatically to match the time of day. You can also add a photo of your choice or a folder or album too. Moving a step ahead, you can also set any of the videos of your choice as your video wallpaper using a simple app. The link to the app will be under video description. After getting the app, just import the video of your choice and the set it as wallpaper and you'll have your selected video as wallpaper. This app's only drawback is that it doesn't allow you to use the wallpaper as a lock screen. The second customization on the list is custom color scheme and accent. You can create a custom color scheme and accent for your Mac OS. Mac OS lets you mix and match various color presets for system accents and highlights. To do this, go to System Settings, Appearance, and pick a new accent color and highlight color of your choice. The updated color scheme is reflected across buttons, boxes, menus, selections, and other system elements. Dark mode is another tweak to consider. It gives elements like the dock, menu bar, app windows, and sidebars a sleek, dark appearance, helping your content shine. In the appearance section, choose between light, dark, or auto to set your desired look. Based on your night shift schedule, the auto setting automatically switches between light and dark modes. Next, you can add icons and backgrounds to files or folder. You can swap out the default app icons in the Applications folder with custom ones, but only for third-party apps. Icons of pre-installed apps cannot be tweaked. On the other hand, you can use icons of system apps as sources for third-party apps. For example, you can easily replace Chrome's icon with Safari's icon if you like. To change the icon for a folder or file, select the file or the folder whose icon you'd like to replace, and then right-click and get info. Next. Copy any image you want to set as an icon by pressing Command-C. Next, in the Info panel, select the icon at the top and press Command-V. Enter the password if prompted. Your custom icon should now be in place, but if you don't like it, select the icon again and hit the Delete key to switch back to the default one. Now, to change the background of a folder, press Command-J. Now under the Background section, click on the picture and then drag the image you want to set as your folder background. The selected image will be scaled. If you want to use the same background for every folder, just click on Use as Defaults. You can also scale the icon size. To scale Finder icons up or down, use the controls next to Icon Size to make changes. The changes made will be reflected immediately in all the folders. Before proceeding with the further customizations, to spice things at next level, you can try iBoySoft Magic Menu. iBoySoft Magic Menu. It lets you customize the Finder context menu on Macs. It is the premier right-click enhancer that boosts Mac efficiency and customizes the Finder context menu for optimal productivity. iBoySoft Magic Menu supports macOS Sequoia, Sonoma, Ventura, and Apple Silicon Macs as well. iBoySoft Magic Menu is a lightweight tool designed to customize and enhance the right-click context menu on Mac. It allows you to add functionalities directly to the right-click context menu, accessible with a simple control click on your mouse or trackpad, or a two-finger press on your trackpad. With it, you can take better control of your Mac's right-click menu, effortlessly add and personalize features including new file creation, file copying moving, quick access to websites or directories, and much more. The default context menu in macOS offers quite limited options, and there is no official way to customize it. Now, iBoySoft Magic Menu supports the right-click menu in iCloud Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, etc. Customize your Finder context menu on Mac with iBoySoft Magic Menu. For more info, click the link below in the description. Getting back to the topic, next, you can personalize the macOS login screen. To personalize the login screen, 
switch to a new user picture for your macOS user account. In System Settings, Users and Groups, click the existing profile picture on the right to swap it out for one from Apple's default set or your Photos library. You can even replace it with a Memoji or Animoji. Click Save to get the selected picture in place. You can also come up with an entertaining message for your Mac's lock screen. To do that, head to System Settings, Lock Screen, and turn on Show Message when locked. Now, click the Set button, type in the message you want to show on the lock screen, and hit OK. You can also set the 24-hour time as well. You can see the message you set when you are on the lock screen. Your new profile picture should already be in action. Next, you can adjust the dock. To access these tweaks, head to System Settings, Desktop and Dock. You can reposition the dock You can set the minimizing effects. You can set the dock to hide and show, show indicator for open apps, show recent apps, etc. You can also change the dock size and set it to magnify while hovering with a cursor. Next, you can change the sound effects of your Mac. You can customize the macOS alert sound in system settings, sound, sound effects. Next, you can tweak the control center and menu bar. To choose what's shown in the menu bar and control center, open system settings, control center, and set the items to show in menu bar as per your preference. Features listed under other modules can be added to both the menu bar and control center. Scroll to the bottom to see services you can only add to the menu bar, like Time Machine and Siri. You can also make your Mac announce the time at specified intervals. Click on the Clock Options button in the Menu Bar Only section and tweak it accordingly. Hello, my name is Samantha. Lastly, you can add some widgets. The customization is incomplete without widgets. Right-click on the desktop and click on Edit Widgets. And from the bottom, add glanceable information from stocks, weather, and clock apps to your desktop. So, these are the few changes you can make to make your macOS feel better. So that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.